Hi, I'm Ed, I'm Technical Operations Manager at Cyvex. This week, we've been asked about traction control, uh, what it is and how does it work. This is our section where we answer a few questions relating to technologies relating to engine management. So, cars have four wheels, pretty obvious, right? Most do anyway. Uh, and traction control works by comparing the wheel speeds of all four wheels. If there is an, uh, a variation or change, say one wheel slips on ice or something, you'll get an acceleration in that wheel. Well, that is measured as an error and engine power can be reduced to prevent the wheel from spinning. This is a fairly common technology now however it's not always approached in the best way by various manufacturers and a lot of the systems are really intrusive you will know perhaps from driving your own cars. Cyvex deals with this quite nicely um, in the sense that it's fully customizable and we can vary the amount of intervention that the engine takes in, redu in reduction of power delivered to the wheels. It is completely programmable in situations where you have different tyres, different track conditions, it might be wet or dry, we have the facility to allow the user to change their traction control strategy, allowing you to have less or more wheel spin. From the user's perspective, the system is almost invisible. It, it can act so fast that before you even realise you've had wheel spin, intervention has been taken and it's prevented it from happening. Now, there may be instances where you want some wheel spin, so it's possible to dial the system up to allow 10, 20, 30 or more percent wheel spin. What you'll actually find when racing is this will affect your attack angle. If, um, for example, you're into a bend and you start, the rear wheels start braking traction, the car will obviously start to steer out. Uh, the amount of slip can vary this angle, so in, es in essence, it gives you a different level of control on the car to what you'd have previously. In addition, Cyvex Traction Control allows you to have settings for different track conditions and different tyres. This is user accessible to people via a cow switch on the dash and it will enable you to dial in your car for optimum performance depending on how it's been driven. So in order to get traction control to work, you need to have at least rear wheel speed sensors and front wheel speed sensors, ideally. In a, in a perfect world, you'd have wheel speed sensors on each corner of the car. Fortunately, these days, most cars are fitted with ABS sensors. We can get those to measure our wheel speeds. All ECUs pick up wheel speed via sensors in the wheel hubs. These sensors are also used for ABS, so they're commonly fitted on cars already. For Cyvex to work, we'll use a driven wheel speed sensors and an undriven wheel speed sensors. That's in the case of a two-wheel drive car in any case. In four-wheel drive cars, where sometimes it's possible to have enough power to break all four wheels from traction, then we can even include a GPS speed reference with the system to compare against. Um, I've actually done this with drag racing, and it's quite interesting to see when you break all four wheels away, um, how much intervention or to, to get the optimum acceleration versus your GPS speeds. If you found this video interesting or have any questions feel free to comment below. Uh, if you like this and you'd like to hear more then click like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you at the next one.